Hi, I'm Lauren Gray Hawkins, and welcome to Behind the Scenes. Join me as we learn about equity liaisons and the role they play to make sure that all students recognize and reach their fullest potential. The equity liaison is to create an atmosphere for kids to feel that they belong to the school. Those kids that are likely to feel academically, to make it more inclusive for them. So to me, it's very much like sports. It's very much like a coach. And what I've um, been attuned to for the last 15, 20 years, like when I played, is a coach is encouraging, your teammates are encouraging. When things don't go well, they encourage you. When things go well, they encourage you. So it's, to me, it's a natural fit. So there's always the group of kids. Well, not necessarily a group of kids, but there's always kids that need someone else to lean on and need extra help. And it's hard sometimes to go to a teacher. Well, school is basically getting us ready for the real world. They're teaching us things that we need to know to move on, whether it's to a higher education or straight to a job opportunity. And these things will definitely help us. It's important to set goals for you can keep trying to get that goal. And when you get that goal, you can set another one. The goal of the program is to improve a kid's social behaviors because we believe if they improve socially, they can improve academically. And to make these kids feel like we have an environment that's inviting, accommodating, to make these kids feel like they belong. Equity Liaisons set up mentorship programs and use growth mindset initiatives like the Power of Yet to set up inclusive cultures for their students. Growth mindset is you can stretch your brain and you can learn more for your brain can get stronger and you can believe that you can do it and that you can always keep learning. There's room for success. There's room for growth. You are not there yet, but you can get there. And I think that um, ties in with the role of the equity liaison as well, where we foster in these kids that everybody can get there. Some people get there earlier. Some people get there later. But yet, you can get there. The power of yet means um, you don't say you can't do it, you say you can't do it yet. The Our Yet t-shirts are growth mindset um, t-shirts. So we want to let students know um, changing the way they think about what they can do. Um, that if they say, I don't, I, I'm not good at math, I just can't do it yet, um, you will be able to do it. You will learn. You just have to work at it and not to just shut down, but to keep trying and persevere. My, it, my goal is so where uh, I can ride my bike, I can't ride my bike yet, but someday I will. I'm a Northeast alum, graduated in 1983. No, just kidding. 1983, and um, I went from here to the University of Maryland on a football scholarship. So I played four years at the University of Maryland and was drafted by the Kansas City Chiefs. So what I try to do is leverage my athletic background to get their attention and then talk to them about what it takes to be successful. And of course, one of the first things you say is hard work, having a vision, having goals, and um, having a support system around you. I think for me, after we talk, like I said, it puts me in a positive mindset and definitely makes me feel better that there's other kids that have the same problems as me and I can relate to them a lot more than I can relate to most of my teachers. This month, we're taking a trip to the White House uh, we're going to work on soft skills and being able to, you know, for job interviews and everything, just everything that a young adult might need to, you know, exceed in this world. You can see the smile on my face when I talk about my school. Um, our school has a very, very, very good environment. It has a good climate. As a visitor, when you get to a school, you can feel the energy. There's a positive energy in this school. It has a very good climate. We, have, we do a lot of collaborative planning. We do a lot of collaborative work. It's a very good school. 
And now I think the belief is getting through to the community that these are students that now believe in themselves and can go on to do other things, whether it be vocational school or apprenticeships or college. So I think it definitely has impacted the community to, and, and the way the community looks at our school. If we can get everyone involved, everyone can feel like a family. Everyone can feel welcome when they come to school. We don't have to worry about anyone feeling neglected or shunned because they don't do certain things. We want everyone to feel welcomed. Well, learning never stops. If one of my classmates were, were sad, if they, they didn't get, get um, the answer right, I would tell them, you can try again. A lot of students have potential. It's helping them see that they can get there. And that's essentially what, I, what I'll be doing in a couple of minutes when I meet with the students, the classic men's group. It's, it's helping them see that you're in 10th grade. What's your path? Is your path college? Is your path um, professional career? You know, whatever it is, let us help you get there. Mm -hmm.